Hard Rock Stadium, formerly known as Pro Player Stadium, was home to the Florida Marlins, not Miami Marlins, from 1993 to 2011. In this game, however, the Florida Marlins go into extra innings, where it will end in a massive heartbreak. Hey guys, Aaron here. Welcome back to MVP Baseball 2005 Classic Stadium Series. Today we're playing at Pro Player Stadium that used to be home of the Florida Marlins. This is the Marlins old stadium, and we are playing in the Marlins alternate un uniforms, and we are going to be facing the Diamondbacks in town who are wearing their uniforms. So I am playing as Carl Pavano. He was part of the Marlins pitching staff before he ended up going elsewhere to the Yankees and other pit teams as well. The whole purpose of the series is to play in the old stadiums that teams used to be in and then you play some legendary games in a few as well. Pro Player Stadium was the home of the Marlins from night in night back in 1993 to till they moved to a new stadium later on in the 21st century. And that's a solo home run by Forrest Clayton, by the way. Not good. Okay. And there's the 2001 Arizona Diamondbacks hero, Luis Gonzalez. If you don't know, if you guys don't know it, what happened was Luis Gonzalez was ba batting at the plate against the Yankees in the World Series back in 2001, and he had a walk off home run over the defense that went in on the on him, and they won. Speaking of the World Series, the Florida Marlins won their World Series in '93, back in '97 no, and 2003. So there's so there's some history there at Pro Player Stadium. It was also home to the Miami Dolphins. So we have some history there. The Marlins have won two World Series Series champions, but they have not progressed to the World Series ever since. So you can say that in their World Series series days, they have won eight uh, eight games out of a potential 14 and anyway here's the pitcher Sean Estes he was actually a free agent in MVP base 2004 but it's good to see him on a team and Juan Pierre, Juan Pierre is up is he Estes pitch foul away the levels on pro by the way in case you guys are wondering also I forgot to say this but yes I did reset up my my, my area my game city set up because I need to change things up a little bit because I wanted to be able to be in this gaming chair and need to move my second desk, which uh, is also where my PC is. So at least I have an area where I can just turn and move whatever I want, want to instead so I had to walk all the way around just to get to where I need to be. So that's some changes that happened. And now, 3 out 3 down. Damn it. See if we can handle these guys. There's the first pitch. Fouled off. That was a fastball, and good thing I hit off the catcher's there's a chest protector because that would have been really bad. There's the own one. Strike two. John Reed just doesn't seem to have it. Although he actually did make history back in 2002, where he hit four home runs in a single game when he was with the Dodgers. And I jinxed myself because he just got a single. Nice. And now here is Chad Tracy. This is a situation where we need to turn two on this one. Pitch, strike one. That's no one. And now we got. Here comes the the one, strike two. Okay, I think sometimes when I try to turn two, they swing it a bit on purpose. I think just so they could avoid double play. And there it is, right where we need it. Double play. That was a good hustle play. And good G defense all the way for the Marlins. And now here is Craig Council. A guy who struggled with his average. Did change his bats out. Raised his arms up when he bats. So that way it becomes easier for him, him to bat. And he raised his batting average since. He was also part of the Florida Marlins 1997 World Series Championship team. As well as scoring the winning run. Off a base hit by Edgar Renteria to help the Marlins win the World Series for the first time in history, becoming, at the time, the youngest franchise team to win a World Series. Of course, we all if you guys know your baseball history, we know who beat that one. That would be the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks were created back in 1998, and they won their first World Series in 2001. 
They even wouldn't go back to the World Series, however, until 2023, where they played the Texas Rangers, but the Rangers shocked the world as well as their way to the playoffs by winning their first World Series championship in ever full history in a big fashion. So the Diamondbacks had the first World Series loss, and the Rangers had the first World Series win. The more you know. And my glow pops in foul territory. Dang it. Why are we not hitting? Alright, Jeff Cal 9. Let's see if you could help the team out a little bit. Pitch. Ooh. Well, curveball. Yikes. The gravy. And there's the 0 1 coming. And up. Oh, there we go. Left field. That ball is back at the track at the wall. God! Jeff Conine ties the game. A, a game tie home run at Pro Player Stadium. So Jeff Conine is the guy that will help the team out. That was a good tip right there. And that barely went over the yellow line, which is where you hit the home run. And the game is tied. Now there's Juan Encarnacion. He had a promising career until he had a bad injury. That which will later end his career but with a foul ball him in the face. That wasn't that wasn't good. And he fouled out to the first base. Now here is first pitch to Hammock, the catcher, and that's in the deep right field. That ball is gonna be caught by, by the right fielder Juan Encarnacion. Now there's Sean Estes who throws left, that's right. Not uncommon to see a reverse. And that's a long throw. A hop and an out. And here is the, the pitch. Strike one. Torino's probably going to expect something really close, like a fastball. So we've got to start throwing some junk as it's throwing pitches out of the zone. And as a ground ball, base hits. Gonzalez, dive and missed. And that's the Dimebacks' third hit of the game out of the four hits. Oh, no. Let's see. What did I make it mess up? What? Right. That was a slider downstairs. So let's see if I can throw a fastball upstairs. Make this guy swing. Line drive caught. That was a mistake pitch, but I took advantage of getting my defense ready. See how it's Gonzalez. He is by 232, but hit 23 home runs. Not bad. 23 home runs, not bad. 232, that's different. For anyone in that, that, that was by my average. Sometimes, you, in this time, you got you got to do like very well, like getting like a at least 250 or something, maybe 300. Now they really don't care that much. They were for the long ball, and that hits the corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes on Alex Gonzalez, and line drive. Second base dies, makes a good catch, throws, got him. Not fast enough. That was a good diving catch, but the council here, who was playing second base, shows everyone how to get dirty and makes the out. Here is Pavano, who is not, appears to be a hitter that I rely on. First pitch. Never mind, it's a base hit, the right field. That's going to go right to the gap. Pavano's carrying the team. And if he had more speed, I would have made him go for third, but he is not fast. He's a pretty slow. A one out double. Good job, Pavano. And now, Juan Pierre, 0 for 1. Let's see if he could redeem himself here. And there's the pitch. That was a high fastball, and he just missed, as in not even close. 0-1. Coming your way. There's the pitch. And he hits a pop to left. That is going to be caught. They were ready for that one. Luis Castillo is up. Pitch. That was 91. And a nasty swing and a miss. 0-1. And we got... He got Pavano away in a second. And there we go. Base hit. Let's we'll see if I can. I'm going to send him. Throw. Oh, no. It's going to be close. And out. So that was a bad call. My part to send him. There's Gonzalez in the left field. Cabrera's underneath it. And catch. First out of the inning. So we got one out. And Gloss is up. He was the 2002 World Series MVP for the. Anaheim, now Los Angeles Angels, second out of the inning. And now we got Sean Green at the play. He, I don't think he, he ever, I don't think he went to a World Series. In fact, I don't think he even made it. And Jeff Conner fields it for the third out. We go with Paul LaDuca, Cabrera, and Lowell. So everyone has one run and three hits. 
the Duca, however, I've changed that up, and that is not a good start. That was a low changeup, but he missed. Tried to go outside, but I went over it instead. Pitch, strike one, 0 oh and 2. And we got two strikes. Pitch, up, oh, that's at the right, but the second base is running for it and makes the catch. Dang it! And Cabrera 0 for 1, but he might change that right here. He has, he was going to pop in his bat. And there's a drive to the left field. That ball's going to be, oh no. Okay. Here is Mike Lowe. Mike Lowe is up. And here is the pitch. Swoosh. He swung early on that one. Probably would have gotten some part of the ball if he could. But he got one here. Left field. See you later. Home run, Lowell, and the Marlins take the lead. A uh, solo home run gives him the lead. And Mike Lowell has finally revved up his bat to help the Marlins get the lead. Our first time leading in this game. Where is that ball? Off the upper deck. Whoa. That's a short upper deck, though, because the only three are 52 feet, though. There's Jeff Cohn, who hit a home run earlier in the game. And that is a medium depth fly ball. Playable. And cut. Will Fast with Chad Tracy, he would end, later on become a World Series manager. No, I'm kidding. He becomes a manager. I don't think World Series manager, that's I was that was facetious. Fifth inning so far, and we're head by only one run. Pretty good not pretty good. And that's in the right field. Kirkinesion makes a running catch. Now we got Council at the plate. There's the pitch. Strike one. Got him with a strike down the middle. And we, now here is the next pitch. Strike two. Oh and two. Just where he, he just probably wants to see if he can get it. Here comes the changeup. Got him looking. Oh, borderline. Marlins are get, clapping your hands on that one. And the debatable third strike call. Borderline. Pitch. Strike one. And... That makes it on, on one, making it on two, and already it's looking like it's gone down to the favor of Carpavano with his great pitching. It's a ground ball to Lowell, who has been a good defender and makes the out. Let's see if Canasiano can redeem himself here. Get a big hit, maybe get a line drive over their heads, or get a big final left field way out of here, 370 feet. That was a good cut right there. And as the fireworks pop off here, the Marlins have added on to their lead. Where was that? He had a, well, that was a high one. It was 370 feet, and it passed it in the upper deck. Whoa. Upper deck this time, man. Conicion taps on the plate, points to the sky, and is now a, well, 3-1 game. Florida Marlins are actually doing well, even though to Myanmar today, and Gonzalez is in the right base hit. That's an opposite field single. And now Pavano is up, who shocked everyone by getting a double, but he was out of the play trying to score. So, that was interesting. Line drive, get back. On one. And that's a shallow fly ball left field. I tried to go to the, to pull the ball, but instead, fly out. The hitter just put too much There's Jose, Jose not Jose, Luis Castillo. That was a high change, but I still missed. And now we got 0-1. Next pitch. Whoa! That was so, so fast, but not fast enough for me. Line drive, that is a base hit. Castillo gets a base hit. And now there's runs on first and second. And that was a good swing right there. Now here is Paul LaDuca, 0 for 2 today. Might be able to change that in this at bat. Or not. That's the third out. And Sean Estes is still on the mound. Okay, they're still, they're not pitch hitting him. Okay. And he has a base hit in the center field. He joins the battle as a guy gets a hit. Nice. Pitcher's getting hit in the same game. And there's Torreo, 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 whatever. I think I pronounced it better than I did. And that is a... Easy single, and my alarm almost went off my phone. Thankfully, I stopped it because I don't want to deal with copyright. And now there's runners on first and second. One swing could get a run, or you can just bunt. 
and out. So that's an out, but they got a sacrifice bunt in. So that is what they wanted. Now Gonzalez is up, who has knack to hit a ball right over the fence. He hit 57 home runs in 2001 with the Diamondbacks. And ended up, and despite that, he never got the home run title because that, that year, that went to Barry Bonds. 73 home runs versus 57. Not gonna lie, they're high numbers for home runs anyway. And as a base hit, and they're, gonna, and they're, they're sending in both. Here's a throw to the plate, and the throw is not in time. The game is tied. Good try, but unfortunately, not, not in time. Luis Gonzalez drives in the tying RBIs, and it's a tie game. Grounded. Casillo couldn't get that one. And they're going to go. Gonzalez right for third. The throw is not in time. See that replay. Uh oh. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. A little drama helps. A little drama helps. And Mons loved his aggression. That was a close play at third, I ain't gonna lie. There's Sean Green, pitch, popped it up to the right side, because Steele is gonna run underneath this one. And we're gonna have to quit for first, and safe is the call. Chad Tracy's up, the go-ahead run on third, and we made him blow it. The right, Castillo, catch, it's a tie game. Sean Ness is still pitching. Line drive, caught by Council Tint. Mike Lowell, though, that's Danger Zone. Hi to the Danger Zone. And that was a swing that just didn't think it over the line. And, and he pops it up. To the right side of the infield, that will be caught by the first baseman, Chad Tracy. Jeff Conai, one for two, hit a solo home run. Might be able to change, do it again. Not with that swing, though. That was a bad swing. Very awful swing. 0-1. There's the next pitch. Out. Yep, we got one. Left field. And gone! A second over at the game gives the Marlins the lead. And just like that, the Marlins have shown their power with their bats to help the team get back on the floor. And, in other words, back in the lead. 355 feet, though, that is not enough for an upper decker. That is enough to go over the fence. But there is Juan Canisiano, who also hit a home run. He had actually uh, he had to a lead of a home run, but the Dimebacks, with their great defense and great offense, had taken the lead. And there's their great defense. Right the first, out of there. Council is leading off in the seventh. Ground ball, Castillo dies, can't get it. That is a leadoff single for Council. So that's not good. And now they got Lance Comier in the bullpen. Sounds like I better get my bullpen ready. Gonna put in Jones. Todd Jones. So the coach, I think they might let Sean S. is bad, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Up, oh, fouled away, fouled away, and nope. Catcher dies, gets dirty, but fails to get the ball. There's two in the bullpen now. Randy Choate and Lance Comer. Okay. That'll be interesting. Next pitch, and, he pushes that and it right to the front of the catcher, safe there, and ah, fail. He failed to stop the lead runner at second, so he's safe. And here comes Matt Kata to be the pinch hitter. This is a moment they want. First pitch, grounded, oh no, base hit. And it could tie the game again, let's see if we throw the plate. The throw is going to be not in time, off throw, up. Off the line, so now they got the game tied again. The pitch, grounded, going through third, out of third. That's what we needed right there. Pavano stopped up, stopped up from getting more runs, and oh yeah, close to third, but not close enough. There's Royce Clayton with one out. The pitch, popped it up. Conine into coach's box makes the out. Two outs. All right. Oh no. Gonzalez. This is this is dangerous because one swing can give us get the lead, and that's in the right. But Incarnacion will be underneath it, and that is the third out. Comier is taking is now going to be taking over. Pitch, grounded. That's an out, and yeah, out. 
And now, nope, Vanal, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to pinch it for you. Let's see, this is a right-handed guy, so let's see. Damien Easley will have to be our guy in his right-handed situation. But, nope, look one out the pitch. Line drive, ah! Right in the Gloss's glove. There's one up here, over three, thus far. He's not known for power, so it would be interesting if he gets a big hit in this case, because a big hit would help the Marlins get back in the get back in the game a little bit. Grounded, nope. Speed is everything, but not enough in this at time. Todd Jones will be pitching in the eighth. Grounded, that's a base hit to start off. So they were ready for that fastball. And here is Mike Klop. Kupluff? Okay, that was a, sorry if I mispronounced the name. I butcher names sometimes. That's part of I do butcher them a lot, as you probably know by now. And they got oh, now they got on one. Here is the pitch. Oh man. That's a base hit. And they and Pierre's gonna throw to third, making sure to send a message not to not to try to advance. Here is the first pitch to Green. And that was off-speed changeup. So it sounds like we better start throwing off-speed pitches if we want to if we want to get them here. The 0 and 1. Strike 2. He's anticipating off-speed more now because he's tried to try to time it. Now for the signature backdoor slider. And we got him. Straight making a miss. Marlins are happy that they were able to get this one, and that was a good backdoor slider by Jones. But hey, it's not over yet. Council, he brought me Charles before. The infield's in. Are you sure you want to be me infield on that one? And we're going to throw the first. We got no choice. And that is the second out, but now there's runners in the second and thir third with two outs. Hammock is up. Here is the pitch. Strike one. It went backdoor and went back in. So that now we got a on one the pitch. Ooh, he wanted to hit that ball. I think it was just swinging anything at this point. Here comes the O N two. Swing and a miss. I called it. Castillo is up, leading off the pitch. Swing and a miss. Inside slider and he just missed. O and one. Let's try to get a bigger hit here. Pitch. That's in the left field. That is going to be right into his glove. He was waiting for that one. Now here is Paul Duca. 0 for 3 thus far. Hoping to get a bigger hit here. Ground ball. Mm, that's the second out. Let's see if uh, Cabrera, 0 for 3, can change his luck here. Pitch. Strike 1. 0 and 1. And 0 and 1. And here is the pitch. Fouled away. Fouled away. Got two strikes now. And here is the OED 2. Ground ball right to Gloss. We're going to the ninth. Kelly Sinet's going to be pitch hitting, and we're going to start warming up our closer in case we might need to get some action here. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss. Kelly Sinet, I first heard about him when he was traded. To New York Yankees, and oh, Ooh. usually when you see those yellow dots. They call it a ball, but that's a rare strike right there. Grounded and easy out for for Jones. And there's two guys in the bullpen, so this ought to be interesting. Who we face? Because who we face could determine if they take the lead or keep the game tied. So this ought to be good. Yeah, that's ought to be good. There's the 0-1. Strike 2. 0-2 once again. Todd Jones has been trying to hold, hold these guys down. And the pitch. And oh, just a little out from the zone. The 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He done. Done. Ejection. Nah. That was a good curve and we're claiming one for three his only hit was a lead off was a one out home run off of us his first to back Conai makes the catch we're going into the bottom of the ninth this ought to be interesting low Conai and Arconacion all those guys have gotten big home runs first pitch that was fouled off 
Oh, some gas, though. As in, he throws very fast. 0-1. Pitch. It's a, it's a bloop to the center. Base hit. Lowell is in a winning run on first base. That is, we don't grab the dull play or something. Konai is up. Two for three. Hit two home runs. He could be the hero that we need. And the pitch. There's a drive to left field. We're going to have to go back. Good, good catch by the left fielder, though. Yikes. So now we got Warner Canision coming up, who also hit a home run. One swing could end it if we can. And that is not ending it. That's just another out. Okay. I don't want to go to an extra rain drama. That one took 29 minutes. And there's Alex Gonzalez at the plate. Pitch. Grounded. And third out. We're going to the 10th. We're going to have to put in another closer now. Moda will be pitching. Let's we'll see how he does his first pitch. Strike one. 95 mile an hour fastball. 0-1. We got the slider, and we got the flyout. The slider is sliding over to Pierre's glove for the, for the out. Okay. Now there's Troy Gloss. And he takes a slider. I think he was expecting a fastball because he did not expect it to be sliding over. Line drive. He gets it right where he wants. A base hit. Now he's to go ahead and run a first for the Diamondbacks. And now we got Sean Green, two for four thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike one. 0-1. Oh Unless the manager wants him to swing and a miss on everything, I don't think he's going to ground it all play. Yeah, I'm going to see a pattern here. Whenever there's a potential all play situation, they try to swing and a miss on stuff. And he, oh, he popped this one up. And Conan will get in foul territory. Two outs. And here's Chad Tracy, 0 for 4. Might change his luck here, or he'll just go into an out. Strike one off slider. Sliding away from him. Here's the 0 and 1. Round it. Castillo will make the behind the back play and got him. Molda is leading off. We're going to let him lead off. Grounded to the second baseman for the first out. Pierre, 0 for 4. So he needs to change his luck right here. Pitch, and that's in the right. And still fair, but it's a pop out. 0 for 5. And Castillo is up. Jose Castillo is up. For two outs. Fouled away. Fouled away to the left. And out of play. Just out of play. We got only one against us. Pitch. That would have been a good pitch to get a base hit. But unfortunately... It's a strike two. Next pitch. Grounded. Right to Council. We're going to the 11th. There's Craig Council. First pitch. Takes a sinker at 92. We're just trying to play aggressive baseball here because we do not want to give up any run support for them. This is going to be a long video. About 30 minutes at this point. Pitch. Strike three. See ya. And we got him looking. There's the pitch. Strike one. We got strike one there. Here's a strike two. Backdoor slider. Got in. Got inside the batter and then went in, in the zone. There's the 0 2. Grounded to Lowell, who will make the long throw. That's the second out, and McCracken is taking over. We're going to have to face a new pitcher once again. That's the center fielder for the Dimebacks. So, that means that we better anticipate, like, I don't know, getting one right over this guy's head. 0-2, oh once again. Pitch. That was a low fastball that was just wild. But the pitcher blocked it to prevent it from being, I don't know, a wild pitch. Good line drive. Caught by Mike Lowe. We go to the bottom of the 11th. And it's, it's Leduca leading off. Up, oh, he's to the right field. That's going to drop for a hit. Leduca gets a big hit. Moment, and now he's still go ahead and when he run. And here's Cabrera. He is 0 for 4. Anything can happen here. Pitch takes a strike. 0 and 1. So he he knows the fastball is not that fast. Next pitch, and he got him on the outs. Got him to pop to the right. 
Puts it away I hate those the submarines. They always throw me off. Okay, Here's Mike Lowell. Mike Lowell's up. Pitch. That was a good swing on the fastball, but it was just over the zone. 0 and 1. And there's the pitch. Strike 2. 0 and 2. Let's end this right here. Right here, right now. Pitch. That's in the right field. Base hit. Now there's runs up first and second. With one out. And here is Jeff Conai. Two for four. His two hits were home runs. Here's the pitch. Oh, ooh, that's in the left, but foul. Foul ball. Ah, if that was fair, that would have been the end of the game. And we got an 0-1 pitch. Foul the way again. Right into the bullpen. At least it's not on the field, but it still has a very short fence. And Slurve got him. Two outs. One for four. Come on, Juan. We need you here. Pitch. Foul the way. Foul the way. Got a foul ball. 0 and 1. Pitch. Uh oh. Left field. Come on. Stay fair. Nope. It's foul. Dang it. First Kone, now on Kinesion. I. Ah, this is on your my knees. Ah, That's not good. You got everyone run, everyone run, everyone run. We're going to 12. Still need to stop these guys. Foul the way. Foul the way. This, this is looking pretty bad for us. We, we're going into the 12th inning. There's a line drive. Cabrera makes the catch. First out. I might have to pinch hit some of those guys pretty soon if we don't get any action. But fly to left, Cabrera again makes the catch. That's the second out. We got two outs now and Gonzalez. One for five. His big hit, however, was two RBIs. And he is proven to be one of the most dangerous hitters for the Diamondbacks thus far. Because he brought in half their runs. See, everyone else only, who scored only had one RBI. Here's the 0-2. Not so dangerous now! Swing and a miss! I might as well start getting my bullpen set up again. Put in a, one of our, my setup men. Because at this point, I'm running out of options. There's a center field pop into a shallow part. Well, medium, and that's the first out of the inning. And time for, time for a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting, uh, let's see, there's a right-hander. So, we're going to go with Willingham. See what he can do here. He's one of the best second catchers. Fouled off to the right. Fouled away. I do not want to go into the 13th. This is part of the as it is. <clears throat> okay. That is uh, fouled away. Next pitch. And that's the third out. Nope, second out. Excuse me. And Pierre. Oh, come on, man. We need you. There we go. His first hit. Oh, my. Oh, my. Right into the gap. That's into the gap. Pierre is a fast runner. He's already. We're going to third. And he's going to be there with a stand up triple. Oh, my goodness. We actually have a chance. Come on, Casillo. Come on. They walk him. The Duca, who got a seagull last time up. Oh. Fouled away. Ooh, lucky me. And here's Cabrera. There's the next pitch. Nope. That's the third out right there. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! That's the ball game! Oh, no! That's the worst way to end the game if you're the Dimax. All right, that's the end of the game. Thank you for watching. Reminder, don't check out the series. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. God bless you all. Don't forget it.